block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. better yeah. off work to the good, I'm bad, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. took a ride in the L, yeah. L, yeah. L, yeah. I'm took yeah. a ride down, where yeah. kill I'm, I'm intrigued. Nah, I'm listening, yeah. You know, and like, how do you, you know, slip in new music to even make them say, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with this. Man, I think it's just a matter of getting to, into the uh, people's mindset, into the crowd's you know mindset, and trying to get into that mode, and and really like just peeping energy, just peeping you know what what the people want, you know what I mean, looking around at the room and see if people are vibing, if they're not, switch it up. Um, but for the most part, you know, just play what's hot, play the hits, you know, um, listen to a lot of radio, listen to people's personal playlists, listen to you know other DJs. Um, I just pick pick up game from a little bit of everywhere. So I, I utilize that information and I try to, you know, uh, create a good set and, and a show for, for the people. Right. So, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just a matter of just getting out there in the scene and just really being involved in what, what I'm doing and um, trying to trying to see where I'm at so I can improve. And, um, yeah, that's, I feel like that's, that's the best uh, route or that, that's been helping me a lot. And what music? Or what genre of music brings more crowd? Bring a crowd. Um, well, hey, in I'm Deep Ellum, I'm asking, goddamn it. In Deep Ellum, it's mainly hip hop and Latin dominated. So, a lot of hip hop music, a lot of Latin music. So, okay. so yeah. all right, that's yeah. what's up. And if you go to a different area, maybe like you know downtown Dallas, where right. they play a little bit more EDM stuff, and right, you know. So, 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 so you you ain't, you ain't popping in no Britney Spears. Nah, nah, oh, nah okay. I ain't doing none of that. What about some Barry Manilow? Nah, I ain't doing none of that. Well, you ain't putting no Barry I mean, Manilow? I mean, I would play those uh, mm-hmm. artists, but it would have to be early in the night or, or late at night oh, when, when everybody's leaving. Well, damn, when they leave, then you play that type of music? What about, what about some Sugar Ray? <laughs> <laughs> what about Sugar Ray? You know Sugar Ray? Yeah, it, it's just it's just the crowd. You know, they're a lot, it's a younger crowd out there nowadays. Mm-hmm. There ain't too many um, right. grown folk out there. Right. Unless it's like I said, early early in the night. Or, or, you know, late at night when everybody's already fucked up. It don't really matter what I'm playing. Okay. I mean? So are you deep into the DJ and to the point to where you know how artists get paid if you spin their music or if you, how did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I went to Media Tech. I learned a lot uh, okay. about music business and stuff like that. All right. Um, so you be in with the clubs when you do your playlist? Um, because don't the club got to, you know, they, cause they get surveyed by ASCAP, BMI, and CSEC, well, the, right? Well, the thing is... Uh, my DJ software it automatically sends that that stuff because I I pay a subscription, and so whatever music I use online uh, libraries and stuff uh-huh. like that, so right. it, it automatically gets picked up. Okay, yeah. so that means so you can also help the culture out too, right? Oh yeah. So you can really have people put their music out correctly mm-hmm. and sit there and really DJ people and stuff, and then yeah, turn and so, on the DJ pool to, where you can pass on to yeah. your other DJ homies. To make sure stuff spin and make everybody eating around the city, huh? Yeah, if it's on the DJ pool, I'll, I'll play it and it'll get it'll get picked up by the the PROs and stuff. Yeah, we need to talk and all y'all people out there and the artists in the D, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to talk. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to talk more with the DJs and really open up conversation and understand how it works. You know what I'm saying? So how mm-hmm. does it work too, far as the artists coming to you too when they don't have their stuff out there correctly and then they bring in their their song far as the Flash drive, we don't bring CDs anymore, but the flash drive and telling you to spin it. How how did that work? Do you charge them? Do like what, yeah, what, what do charge. you do you give them game? I mean like Yeah, we, we charge uh to get your get your song played because me as a DJ I already have my set playlist for the night. Like right. I already know what I'm playing. Mm-hmm. And um if I have to have to have to, you know, stop what I'm already got going on to play your stuff, you know, for one it's gotta be good, good quality, you know what I mean? Right. And another thing, it, it could be a hit or miss, you know what I mean? So I'm taking a risk by playing, you know, new artists because a lot of people don't really reciprocate new very well or they don't really take in new stuff very well. It's, you right. know, you got to break break the, break the it a couple times, break the ice. Um, but, um, but yeah, um, I would say, like, whenever you do perform your stuff at the club, um, to go ahead and, and, and submit that uh, performance to, um, to, ASCAP. to ASCAP, yeah. All right. Right, for sure, for sure. They're you like have a daily requirement that have a Christian home that you play something. Um, some clubs, yeah, it, it just depends on like the night. If it's if it's uh I've done I've made this mistake before. Um if it's hip hop night and you just play nothing but hip hop, don't don't veer off and play like EDM or don't veer off and play like, you know, and stuff. Um 
like every night has a theme basically and so the club owners they try to keep that in order because you know er, especially in dip Ellum, there's a bunch of clubs and and, and bars there so you don't really want to like interfere with other people's crowds like that you know what i mean right because each club and bar they already have their set, set night set night mm-hmm. set set crowd that goes there so yeah <laughs> Okay, black and blue, cell phone, hook up, a ver. See how you work. Hello? I want $40 worth of smoke. What? Coño, que mierda este pinche Of course I do, I've been getting from you for weeks. You mean you ain't got, what? I can't hear shit. What? Who? What? Ah! Phones all fucked up. What? You got any reason? Who is this? Who the hell you think I am? I don't know you. I've been getting it from you for the longer. You better get me some smoke, man. I'm not calling you. Don't you talk to me if you ain't got no reefer, man. Oh, yeah? Well, fuck you. Well, fuck you, too. Eat shit, too. I got a dial phone. I got a push automatic dial 